r slash ask reddit, what's something you thought was common knowledge but actually isn't? Gambling at a casino will most likely result in losing money. If you find you're winning, quit when you've won. Remember the scene in Oceans 13 where everyone wins and then leave the casino because there's an earthquake? Yep, do that. Only leave casinos during earthquakes. Got it. The on-ramp is for accelerating to highway speeds before you reach the highway. Holy shit this is my biggest pet peeve. I'll argue all day long that if you can't understand why it is dangerous as duck to try to merge with traffic going 20-40 miles per hour faster than you, you are probably going to be in an accident or cause one sooner rather than later. Also, the more expensive the vehicle, the more likely that the driver will absolutely not care about their impact on other people. That last bit was proven scientifically, I'll have to look it up. But there was a study involving drivers with nicer cars. The nicer the car, the less likely they are to use blinkers and obey road laws. Edit. Study was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Here's a link https colon slash slash user streets blog or the 16th of july 2013 study wealthier motorists more likely to drive like reckless jerks that there are no tigers in africa i was on safari in tanzania and two others in the truck were discussing how excited they would be to see tigers i told them there weren't any and they looked all disbelieving and crestfallen like i was spoiling their fun they had to check with the guide yes I had a grown ass woman on a safari arguing with the native tour guide that of course there are tigers in Africa, and that she promised her kids she'd bring back pictures of tigers, and if she didn't see any tigers she wanted her money back. She was pissed there were no tiger stuffed animals in the gift shop, even though every other safari animal was. If you made a mistake and embarrass yourself a little for not knowing, no big deal. But to loudly carry on about the lack of tigers because you're on the wrong continent? Idiot. If you're on the receiving end, all you really can do is continually give facts and evidence and their refusal to accept is their problem. It's mostly out of pride. If you're asking how to help them deal with it, then let them know that they aren't arguing for the sake of debate, but because they're too proud to admit that they're wrong. That the vast majority of telecommunications traffic between countries is carried via undersea fiber optic cables. Edit. Wow. This blew up. I found this pretty detailed PDF that goes over a lot of the basics and details and explains it simpler than I could. For anyone looking for a visual on ARPS topic, https colon slash slash www submarinacablamap com edit. Thanks for the cake day wishes and the upvotes. Wow that was really interesting to see. Thanks for the link. Just because eggs are sold in the dairy section doesn't make them a dairy product. I've heard people say they don't eat eggs because they don't eat dairy. I have often wondered why eggs are sold in the dairy section in US supermarkets. Surely, this must be some supermarket strategy and not just duh. I didn't know eggs weren't dairy. It's probably more of a logistical issue. The eggs need to be refrigerated so they just stick them near the milk, yogurt, etc. My supermarket just recently moved the eggs far away from the dairy sign. That antibiotics kill bacteria, but won't do anything against viruses. Everyone has the idea that if you get a cold, you see your doctor and get antibiotics. Take some acetaminophen, paracetamol and ibuprofen, and stay away from other humans for a while. But taking pills equals getting well those damn doctors don't want to help me. In the same line, the practice of stopping taking your antibiotics just because you feel better. It's like all these people don't care that antibiotic resistant bacteria is terrifying. That narwhals exist are real. People have thought that I was trolling them by talking about a mythical unicorn whale. How to stay in one's own lane when turning from one street to another. Related. How to get completely out of the through lane when a turn lane appears. When a parking ends and the turn lane begins. Go all the way into that lanito make the turn. Not just halfway. Also related. How to make your turn without going back into the other lane. You're not a semi truck. You don't need to take your turn that wide and almost hit the people going straight. How to use a damn roundabout. Apparently, edit, I'm in the US. Just because there's not one in your town doesn't mean they don't exist in the US. 
They tried to put one in my town but a member of our city council was publicly quoted saying that people around here are too stupid to use a roundabout. I like them already. That other planets are visible from Earth. And the sun is also a star. Sitting outside one evening having a beer with my sister. Really clear sky. Lots of stars out. And she says someone was telling me that stars are like the sun. But further away. I paused to check if she was kidding. But she genuinely thought she was sharing obscure knowledge. We were in our mid 20s. I don't know how this information had passed her by up to that point. Easy. She doesn't read her Snapple facts. Alcohol has calories. I had to be the one to tell my friend when she was in her mid 20s that the vodka she loved has calories. She was so shocked and said, what, I thought since it was clear like water it didn't have any calories. Alcohol has lots of calories, more than sugar, by mass. Not to mention most sorority girls are drinking alcohol that's half sugar as well. Basic geography, not being able to point out Turkmenistan on a map is one thing. Not being able to point out the Pacific Ocean on a map is another. Even if you can't point to Turkmenistan exactly, I feel you should at least know about where in the world it is. If somebody pointed to South America, I would find that equally as concerning. Edit. To everyone guessing. Turkmenistan is north of Iran and east of the Caspian Sea, putting it in Central Asia. This year roughly half my class was shocked to learn Jamaica was not in Africa, and way too many people fought me when I tried to tell them it was in the Caribbean. Tax brackets. You won't end up paying more in taxes than the extra income if you go up a bracket. Only the income above the cutoff is taxed at the higher rate, not your total income. I had to explain this to a guy in his 60s, literal years away from retirement. Edit. Since people were asking for an example. Here we go. Say there is a cutoff at 20k a year, 10% below and 15% above. If you made 25k a year, you would pay $20,000 times 1 plus $5,000 times 15 equals dollar sign 2750, not $25,000, 15 equals dollar sign 3750. Keep in mind this is a gross oversimplification. Edit 2. US taxes. I don't live in Europe or Australia, so I don't know how their taxes work. Yes, my girlfriend's mother has actually declined a raise because it was small and would put her into a higher tax bracket. In her mind that meant she would be taking home less money. My boyfriend refuses to be happy for my promotion and raised. I received in February, because he is convinced I've been conned and I will actually make less this year due to falling into a higher bracket. I've never been more excited to pay my taxes. A. D. Means Eno Domini, not after death. I had an argument with my friend's mom a few years ago about this. She said BC was before Christ and AD was after death. I tried to explain to her that that didn't make any sense because then the 33 years of Jesus's life would just be not accounted for. I told her AD meant Anno Domini and she said I think that's the atheist version or something like that and then stopped listening when I tried to tell her it wasn't because it meant year of our lord. To be fair, I remember being taught the whole before Christ after death thing when I was little. Open bracket. Not saying it's right, but it's fairly common. She's on her own for that's the atheist version, though. Control C, Control V, and Control Z. The amount of people that go to the top left for the undo button. I work in IT and I'm constantly helping people who don't know what the Windows key is. Comma don't know Internet Explorer slash Chrome Firefox or web browsers. Comma making your password your name is a really poor choice. Edit. Apparently this really struck a chord with a lot of you. Glad I'm not alone harboring all of these frustrations. Not even an IT here. A number one tip for life. Don't show that you're good with tech. At all. Ever. What about the people that swear they don't have a password for their email account? Okay Karen. Sure you don't. Posting on Reddit may mean you end up suddenly appearing in an article on BuzzFeed next week. Or YouTube tomorrow. There should be a bot that PMs you if you're in a BuzzFeed article. Africa is not a country, it's a continent. And South Africa is a country, not the southern part of Africa, except that it is. Hum. South Africa is the country, southern Africa is the region containing South Africa, Namibia, 
Botswana, Zimbabwe, Lesotho and Swaziland. Everyone seems to get close to wild animals for pictures and think it's okay. We are not all one with nature and animals like their space and don't trust you. Edit. Thank you for the silver. Bless you. I was at Yellowstone yesterday, and a bear came into a parking lot. Everyone crowded around it, taking pictures. Some people ran off and said the mother would be coming back soon because they thought it was a baby bear. Park ranger comes in and scares it away. Turns out, it was a full grown black bear. A black bear that is used to humans. It typically harmless if you keep that distance. The problem is, you don't know if that black bear is used to humans. He could have migrated from an area he is not used to seeing us. But generally black bears are more timid. So you are still probably safe. Especially in a group. Grizzlies are harmful from any visual distance. They may disregard you, if they still feel safe. But they are more aggressive in general. Stay in crowds as that still deters them. They will avoid areas of human population generally unless people leave food which will make them want to come near. Black bears generally want to keep the peace. But when we as humans leave food around for them, they will consider it their hunting ground. Eating our trash. With that said, black bears will be more timid and leave if we don't surprise them. Grizzlies will be more aggressive to defend it, because they think we are trying to take their food, instead of us being the ones who leave trash and food like idiots. That you shouldn't be rude to customer service or the cashier cause it's not their fault that the item is expensive. This price is outrageous. I'm not paying this. Thank you for ranting and yelling at me. The lowest level employee who has no say in how anything in this company is done or priced and who probably couldn't afford to buy this item if I wanted to. I work at a music shop and just recently had a woman curse me out cause a student level saxophone was $1500 US. I'm new and I just kinda looked at my manager and hung up the phone mid rant edit. Got told not to hang up the phones on people in the end and kinda just shrugged. Also. Instruments are cheap f in the store I work at as 95% of them are student level. This mom had no idea how instruments worked or cost. I've seen some Jimmy Kimmel skits where people are asked where certain well known places in the world are. Like where is Australia? Where is Africa? And they literally can't point to them on a map. Or they think Africa is a country. I just don't understand how people don't know this stuff. Anyone could miss Canada on a map. All tucked away down there. Yeah I'm thinking about driving up to Antarctica this summer. You are meant to do the tutorial in games. The most frustrating thing is when someone is ragging on a game for being confusing and then admit they didn't pay attention to the tutorial. I would advise staying away from game grumps in that case. The flu is not just another cold. And you can't use the words interchangeably. Many people have never had the flu. Or felt that unwell. The flu will knock you on your ass. Basic principles of finance. Budgeting. Interest. Debt. Saving. ETC. I still think this should be a mandatory curriculum in high school. Four years or it. Throw in taxes as well. It blows my mind to look back and think about the amount of studying I did on topics I'll literally never encounter again but basic financial literacy is ignored entirely. Well. My school had a 3 week assignment on the stock market so we're all financial gurus. S. Don't pet service dogs. I used to think everyone knew this. Until I got one. Don't pet them. Talk to them. Make kissy noises. Bark at them. Grown ass adults barking at service dogs is shockingly common. Whistle. Clap. None of that shit. Do not do anything to deliberately draw the dog's attention. If they are distracted. The handler could get hurt or even die. Not exaggerating. If a medical alert dog misses an impending medical emergency, the person doesn't have time to get into a safe position or take rescue medications. If they have a seizure or slip into a diabetic coma or something because you distracted their service dog it is your fault. That you can wash blood with saliva. Any tips for acquiring a large amount of saliva in a short period of time? Asking for a friend. You can wash a lot of stuff with saliva. It's corrosive. That doesn't mean you should. So much about vaginas. If you have a vagina, you do not need to clean it with soap or special cleanser, inside or out. Also the outer part is the vulva. The vagina is what's on the inside. Just a clean washcloth and warm water on the outside. The vagina cleans itself. 
That's why you'll get discharge. Do not douche. And definitely do not exfoliate. Your ducking vagina. It's not supposed to smell like flowers. It's supposed to smell like vagina. If there is a foul or fishy smell, then you probably have an infection. Otherwise, please just leave it alone. Edit, since some folks aren't seeing it. I'm not saying don't clean your bag. Using warm water and a clean washcloth is cleaning. Yes, wash yourself. Just not with soap or intimate wash or any of that horse shit. All those feminine products that smell like lavender or whatever are not good for your vulva or vagina and are basically companies trying to make you spend money on shit you don't need for hygiene. Exfoliate. Ow ow ow. That's gotta be akin to wiping your ass with steel wool. A surprising number of people don't realize you should not flush hygienic products down the toilet. If it doesn't eventually back up your own pipes it will create massive blockages in the public sewer. I had to explain this to a friend in her mid-twenties. I was like why do you think there's little trash cans on the wall of every women's stall? Edit. Did not expect people to be so passionate about proper hygiene products disposal. Love it. For anyone who's doubtful. There are plenty of horror stories in the comments below about flooded apartments, backed up sewer lines, expensive plumbing repairs, etc. Happy menstruating. Can confirm. Do not flush. Literally no one knows this. I work at a treatment plant. That the IRS will never request payment via iTunes gift cards edit. OMG my first gold and silver and spiritual gold thank you kind souls. Should have would have could have equals the contractions should have would have could have it's not should have would have could have. Those word combos make no grammatical sense. Same with your your or there there there. Some other grammar mistakes too. Common mistake in Dutch is the equivalent of saying greater as. For example. If you're entering a venue that requires a ticket to be scanned for entry. Someone without a scanner can't let you enter. To add on to this. If you need a ticket to enter. You will actually need the ticket to enter. The amount of people I see that seem shocked when asked for their ticket and then have to dig in a bag for 5 minutes searching for it is infuriating. Just have it out while you're waiting. The difference between there, there, and there. They're so simple. People who don't know the difference are really doing a disservice to their writing skills. I mean, they're just so stupid. As a non-native English speaker I feel proud I understood the joke edit. Oh my god I has gold. Thanks you kind stranger person. My first award is gold on a post about a joke I didn't make. About grammar on not my native language. Much appreciated. Edit 2. Now silver. OMFGWTF. I am so happy. I don't know why strangers are giving me gifts. But the least I can say is thank you. This is website is one of the many things that make me feel like learning English was worth the years of practice. I might start other languages because, if I have more experiences like Reddit, it will be worth it. If your wipers are on, your headlights should be on. You have to look at the toilet paper after wiping to determine how much poo is left on your butt. You also have to touch your butthole with the paper. No, it is not gay to clean yourself. Edit. It's also important to look at your poop. It's often the first indicator of something wrong with you. And the information that can be gathered is a useful diagnostic tool. Someone actually believes that it's gay to clean yourself. I heard that some men don't wash their ass on the shower because they think putting your hands between the buttocks is gay. I guarantee. No one. Ever. Became gay from washing their ass so rest assured. Manly men. Edit. Apparently you slash pacific bro is gay and did wash his ass. Our team is working on researching this case and confirming if it's a case of correlation causation. Hey mom. Who was the first man on the moon? Tom Hanks. What a scholar she is. You're allowed to start a sentence, even a paragraph, with a conjunction for the sake of emphasis. I've had multiple people try to correct that, and then I'll show it to a professor and be like this is grammatically correct, right? And they'll say of course. I just want to make sure I understand this right. Can you elaborate the meaning of for the sake of emphasis? Starting a sentence with a conjunction adds weight to the following clause as well as to the logic that ties together the clause with the preceding one. It stands out more than using a comma. Compare these two examples. 
I was the only one who could do it. So I did. I was the only one who could do it. So I did. Other examples. I cut off ties with her. And I was happy. I need to poop. But I can't. Edit. Adding link to an article on the topic. How to use your debit credit card at a checkout. A screensaver is the animation. Or blankness. That pops up on your computer when you don't use it for a while. To save your screen from getting burned in. The background picture that wallpapers your desktop is the wallpaper. Vaccines are safe and effective. Using your turn signal. Or as my Irish friend screams while driving. Fucking indicate your bastard edit. Thanks for the internet award. Anonymous Redditor. Money disappears when you spend it it's not magic. Don't know why you decided to just call me out like that. Taking out your credit debit card cash out before you are asked to buy the cashier checkout staff saves time for everyone. Rather than looking shocked that you have to pay for your shopping. Don't piss on a jellyfish sting. Edit. If you don't know where I got this from. People trusted that episode of Friends as knowledge. Also, you are supposed to do it for a Portuguese man o' war is a second option if you don't have vinegar or something else. Also, a man o' war is not a type of jellyfish. That should help explain what I mean. Extra, don't piss on a jellyfish. Sting. Yeah I am pretty sure you're just supposed to pee on the jellyfish. That'll show them. Not everyone's disability is visible. Just because someone parks in a handicapped spot and gets out and walks in without you being able to tell why they are handicapped doesn't mean they don't deserve that placard. Correlation does not equal causation. Edit. Thank you. My first silver. Edit 2. Here are some funny correlations. HTTPS colon slash slash www. Tyler Virgin. Com spurious correlations. That margarine isn't butter. It hurts my soul when people refer to margarine as butter. Margarine may be bitter and butter may be better but I like a bit of both. Edit. This make less sense since op fix the typo. That whales are mammals that used to be on land but evolved to swim instead. I had an art teacher that just didn't believe me when I told her that they're not fish. They literally have a pelvic bone. The passing lane is for passing. Not for your leisurely drive under the speed limit. That all cows are female. Male animals don't have milk producing udders. Sean. The male version of a cow is called a bull. Incidentally, I recently learned there's no common genderless word for a member of that species. There's cattle for a group of them. But nothing for an individual. It's a little more complex than that. Bull equals uncastrated male steer equals castrated male. In North America, other places call them bullocks. Cow equals female that has had at least one calf. Heifer equals female that has not had any calves. Calf equals young of either sex. Ox equals either a castrated male or a female used for working purposes like pulling a plow. Ox equals either a castrated male or a female used for working purposes like pulling a plow. And here I thought an ox was like a different but closely related species or something. Well, now I know. Edit. Spelling. There is gravity everywhere. On the ISS the gravity is only a bit less than it is on the surface of the Earth. The reason the astronauts float around isn't because there's no gravity. It's because they're in a state of free fall. Flying is the art of throwing yourself at the ground and missing. Douglas Adams. I'm amazed I still have to explain chance of rain percentages to people. Also, percentages in general. I had a 99% chance to win. How did I lose? She had an 80% chance to win. The polls lied. That the sex of a baby is determined by the man's sperm. There's gravity in space. Over the time I've met so many people that thought that there is no gravity in space because everything there is weightless and stuff. Gravity has unlimited range so there isn't even a single spot in our universe without gravity. Weightlessness is basically just falling. While orbiting you're basically just falling around the object. If a month starts on a Sunday, you're going to have a Friday the 13th. I learned this from doing my own calendars for years. Example, next month, the 1st of September. 2019 lands on a Sunday so September has a Friday the 13th. Edit. Since everyone wants to point out that it's not common knowledge, 
I should point out that the question is what's something you thought was common knowledge but isn't so I do know that this isn't common knowledge I just had thought it was for a while. There are only 14 different possible calendars too. So you can collect old calendars and reuse them. That's why they are sold at antique stores. The EU and Europe are not the same thing. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.